I, uh, I don't actually need to be the one to say all of this because maybe, maybe this circle knows more than I do. But I want us to acknowledge this term, Summer of Solidarity, and I want us to, uh, to locate ourselves in a time when putting our bodies on the line against environmental threats, putting our bodies on the line against the environmental destruction that we witness in our communities is really going on right now. Um, I mean, uh, I mean I, I'd like to name, I'd like to get them out in a list, right? Um, up in West, in West Virginia against mountaintop approval mining, the ramps action garnered a lot of attention and a lot of enthusiasm for our radical environmentalist movements. And the, the, uh, the action against fracking in Pennsylvania after the Earth First Ronde, there have been a couple of, of successful KXL blockades. These are things that we should see ourselves participating in and we should, we should ask ourselves how we can advance them which is to say a kind of a, a rising up by, um, by realizing that we're running out of time and that we have to put our bodies on the line, that we have to lock down. Um, there was the shutdown of the nuclear facility by three plowshares activists in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Um, in, on August 6th, on Hiroshima Day, a couple of, there was a road blockade against the nuclear facility in, 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 uh, in Los Alamos, New Mexico. And, and then just this past week, our friends getting arrested at the Spectra site. And I think we, I think that people who got arrested this past week uh, see themselves as part of this movement. And uh, not that, not that stopping, not that stopping construction of something for three hours or four hours or 24 hours is a win. And not that, not that I see that as like necessarily the way to to stop the fossil fuel infrastructure. But I see it as an incredible movement building tool, and I see it as an incredible outreach tool. And I, and I see it as a symbol of what we're capable of.